I was the best man at their wedding. And to find out a few years later, they'd been so brutally murdered, and yet we're not any closer to really solving this than we were after it happened. It's very disheartening. move our mobile home and we're going to move back to Mount Carmel in January. I said, why are you coming back? He said, there's just too many things happening down here. There's p people being murdered and robbed and just all kinds of meanness. And he said, I don't like it. Crime happened in this mobile home in 1987. Investigators say the Dardeen family was brutally murdered. Elaine and their son Peter were bound and beaten to death. Elaine, seven months pregnant at the time, prematurely gave birth during the beating to a little girl who was also killed. situation like that, if the husband's missing, he's the one that did it. And of course, they could not find him, they could not locate him. It rattled me, I'll be the first to admit, it rattled me completely, you know. But I said, there's just, there's no way I could even give any credibility to that thought whatsoever because I knew he couldn't have done that. He just could not have ever done something like that. I think they made Keith witness what happened because the duct tape was removed and, um, and Keith was taken about a mile away, shot execution style. I believe somebody wanted him to do something and I believe that he flat out refused. Well, we'll show you. You do it our way or no way. brutally murder Elaine, their son, and that baby that was born in the process says to me that that person is very cold, calculating, totally heartless individual. I just can't even tell you who could do something like that. This man, detectives say, confessed to committing one of the most heinous crimes in the history of Jefferson County, Illinois. He's a 35-year-old drifter named Tommy Lynn Sells. Well, this is a small community where everybody knows everybody, and it'll be a relief to all the community to know that the person responsible for this or been accused of this, and, and we got to realize he is not guilty until he's been proven guilty in court. Investigators say Tommy Lynn Sells is a serial killer. The 35-year-old drifter is already accused of murders in Kentucky. Arizona, Texas, Southwest Missouri, and now suspected in Illinois. Yeah, that, 
that that was a disturbing interview. You know, I mean, how cavalier he was about killing people. I mean, he described the thrill he got killing people, like the thrill he got injecting heroin into his arm. He just he used that comparison to the high he got. But what does make sense is that Sells told me that those victims were targeted, that if they had searched the, the, the woods near the trailer, they would have found a, a pile of beer cans where he had waited and watched. That was the fact that convinced the Texas Rangers to consider that a corroborated confession because for him to know that, he had to have been inside that house. 